I wash dirty you too. It's your boy SMTD Jersey here, and I just wanted to talk about uh my well. I'm gonna talk about my first job experience. Now, as you know, you know being a high schooler, you know, is rough. Parents always gotta tell you, you know, you should get a job, you know, this and that. My mom, she signed me up for a job. I don't know if I talked about this before, but she signed up for a job, me for a job without my consent, right? But that's what moms do, so you can't really get mad at her. Now, at the time, I'm not playing against this dude. At the time, I was pretty mad, but I, I don't, I don't know. I, I just wouldn't have done it. Now, anyone that lives in the Carolinas, they know there's this park, there, there's this music park known as Carowinds, right? That's what she signed me up for. She said it would be a great learning experience, right? So I went in there for training, and they were like, oh yeah, mark the days that you can't work, right? So I was like, I'm gonna mark every other Sunday because I have something to do for my church during then. Right, and I was gonna do all this. I I marked every Sunday that I was not going to be able to work. Right, so I'm thinking. I mean, at least from you know my mom, she'd get off on some days. Like even if she didn't tell them that she couldn't work, she would just get off those days. Right? Oh no, nah, fam. I I'm almost certain I don't even work for them anymore, and I'm almost certain they still got me clocked to work. I swear too. They don't care, bro. They, they they schedule you to work every day. And then and then the other thing is is you get a certain amount of points, right? Per like per not per week, but like per time you work there, right? So you get like 15 points before they fire you, which is which is I mean, I mean that sounds fine, right? But each time that you call out, like, say you have a doctor's appointment that you didn't know about, every time you call out, that's three. So you can only do that five times for one, right? So doctors, so doctors, dentists, and then I also have an orthodontist because I have braces, right? So say I went to those for three. That's three right there. That's, I, if I get sick, then I'm getting fired. Right? Luckily, I didn't get sick and I didn't have any major appointments, which is rare, I I'm guessing. I mean, that is kind of rare now that I think about it. Just because, like, going that whole time with no, um, with no, uh, appointments is pretty crazy, but, you know, they they also don't if you don't live in North Carolina right if you live in South Carolina you don't get out like North Carolina has a law to where you have to get out before 9:30 on a school night right uh, so they would get out like nine o'clock eight o'clock but if you live in South Carolina they could care less so most of the time i'm almost certain i was pretty much working till 11 o'clock because they say they'll get you out of 10 but you have to sit there and wait until everybody in the park leaves and then you can go or not everyone but the majority of the people in the park leave which is insane i got which is pretty insane right but um yeah, so I would be getting out at 11 o'clock. My mom used to get real mad, especially when I would, like, when I would get there later than usual, like 12, not 12, but like 11.30, right? But the other thing, the other crazy part about it is I had to give up my food pass, which you get free food every four hours. I had to give that up to work there, which was so dumb. Because, I mean, even though the meals there were like a dollar for pizza, but... I don't know why I want to pay a dollar when they could have got it for free. not 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 like food for people that are guests there because that would they wouldn't make no money if it was like that. 
but you know food for the workers was like a dollar but I mean I, I mean I wanted my food pass so I could get Panda Express or something crazy you know what I mean I just I didn't I didn't like that I had to give up pretty much everything and the other thing is is I'm supposed to I'm still supposed to even though I didn't I mean I quit but I was supposed to get like three or four free pa free one day passes for Carowinds, right? They never gave me that. I was supposed to get that, but they never gave it to me, and that, that was upsetting. Now, the only thing I truly did like about the place was it paid well, you know, because it is an amusement park. They gotta do something right. Might do everything else wrong, but they gotta do something right. But yeah, no, they did pay really, really well. Now we work, I worked like the lowest paying job that was there. I mean, obviously, but like out of the new, like out of new hires, I was, it, it was the lowest paid job. Like some of the jobs we got paid like a dollar more than us per hour, uh, which is pretty tough too. Cause we got, we got the most annoying job. Basically what I had to do is is just like, you know, like the basketball games and amusement parks. I had to sit there and talk on the mic and I, I was the one who ran those games. So like, you know, the guys that talk on the mic, they'd be like, oh yeah, the weather today is pretty nice. And they'd be just talking and talking and talking. Like I would come home with a strange voice every day. Like that's, I mean, most, if, if, if you ever heard a video of mine where my voice sounds like strained or, I don't know if I, I don't know if I uploaded it. But you know, it used to it used to kill my voice, absolutely destroy it. It was bad. It was bad, bad. Like sometimes when sometimes when I stream, I get that bad. It just depends on what game I'm playing and what I'm doing. Like if I'm playing real bad in 2K, I can get I can get to that point. I, I, I've definitely got to that point before, like when I played the Celtics. I lost my voice real bad. But um uh I'm gonna I'm gonna span out for a few weeks of telling more stories about this place. Like I wanted to wait a little bit before I told any like stories about Carowinds just because I wanted to make sure that you know not that uh, I couldn't get nobody in trouble for it, so I asked like people that I was gonna talk about if they were still working there, because I don't want to, I don't want to get them in trouble now. So uh, in the next couple weeks, you're gonna hear more stories. But next week we get our progress reports, so I'm gonna give y'all a senior year progress report. Not like that, well, kind of, pretty much like that. Pretty much like how they give progress reports. We see. We talk about the goals that I had set for. Uh, senior year and we're, we're going to talk about if I've done any of them, if I got better at any of them. And, uh, um, expect to see some Borderlands content. Probably going to take the place of Tuesday's video. Like, I, Tuesday's is basically just for basically pretty much whatever I stream. So if I'm, if I played, I mean, I'm probably going to be playing mostly, mostly b because that's what Dylan wants to play, uh, SMT Fate. So, I'm probably just going to be, uh, probably just going to see b for a little bit. And then if we ever do get back into Overwatch, then I'll probably just start uploading it again. Tuesday is just, you know, I stream pretty much every day on Twitch at SMT Jersey. And I do upload my streams to my Twitch, to my YouTube. I got to do that today. That's what I have planned to do today, or the day of recording this, which is Friday. Uh, so that was terrible, but um, yeah. So that that that's just for like a little heads up. Um, with that, I do like to give my shoutouts to the boys in the end of this. Um, we got SMTD Fate. Uh, I see him every day at school now. Uh, we got SMTD Eclipse. He's working on getting his Elgato to work. 
He was having a hard time, what, two days ago, I believe? He was not having a fun time. Uh, but once he gets to the work, he's gonna start uploading, which will be fun, because I have somebody to do. Uh, not critique, but somebody to watch, I guess, from the boys. Cause I've gotten into this weird habit of watching like smaller YouTubers, not like the big YouTubers. Like I still watch my big YouTubers like Swag and Dismo and all them, but I stopped really watching like a lot of big YouTubers. I don't know. It's just something I I've, I've done. Um, but with that. Um, we have SMTD Elite. I haven't talked to him in a while. Uh, well, no, I see him every day at school, but I haven't, like, talked to him. I mean, played none. Um, and we got the SMTD Clan channel, which we don't post on that anymore, so you should sub up, so we will post on that. And you got the, uh, SMTD... What? SMTD Twitter and Insta, which we should post on that, but we don't. I don't even post on my normal Insta like that. Um... And uh, with that being said, I'm out. Peace out.